What's up guys, this is Massey, welcome to my channel. In this video I want to show you some quadratic equations and factoring quadratic equations and we want to factor it if it's possible. And this is part 2. If you haven't watched part 1, I recommend you to go back and start from part 1. And then you can watch part 2. First example I have here is... 2x squared plus 7x plus 5. Answer is, we are looking for two numbers. First of all, I need to multiply these two, a and c. a times c, which is 2 times 5 is 10. And here we have 7. We are looking for two numbers. Multiply to 10, add to 7. So as you see here, 2 and 5, positive 2 and positive 5, makes it 10 and 7. So I can write it like that, 2x squared plus 5x plus 2x plus 5. So instead of 7x, I wrote 5x and 2x. So 2x squared is 2x squared, 7x became 5x plus 2x, 5 is 5. Then I use... common factor. Here I factor x, that will be 2x plus 5, and here I have 2x plus 5, and then when I factor it, I have 2x plus 5, 2x plus 5, I factor 2x plus 5, and here I have x plus 1. Next example, we have 6x squared plus 19x plus 8. Answer is, we're looking for two numbers. 6 times 8, 48. And here we have 19. So multiply 2 of 48, add to 19. So, what two numbers we can get? 16 and 3. So positive 16, and positive 3 is going to make it. So I will write here 6x squared. 19x, I'm going to change it to 16x plus 3x plus 8. So 19x changed to 16x plus 3x. Then I need to group factoring it. So I have, let's factor 2x. If I factor 2x, 6x squared divided by 2x will be 3x. 16x divided by 2x will be 8. And here I have 3x plus 8 as well. Factor 3x plus 8. Here I have 2x plus 1. So 3x plus 8, I factor it and it's going to be 2x plus 1. Next example. 4x squared plus 15x plus 9. 4 times 9 is 36. So I need two numbers, multiply to 36 and add to 15. So positive 12 and positive 3 there are my numbers. 12 times 3 is 36. 12 plus 3 is 50. So I write 4x squared plus 12x plus 3x plus 9. Again, 4x squared, I write it the same. But 15x, I wrote it as 12x plus 3x, which is the same thing. Then I need to use group factoring. I factor 4x here. 4x squared divided by 4x will be x. 12x divided by 4x will be 3. And then we factor 3 here. That's going to be x plus 3. And then you factor x plus 3. That will be 4x plus 3. Next example. Next example is 5x squared minus 11x plus 6. So answer will be... 6 times 5 
as 30 add to negative 11 so we are looking for two numbers when you multiply is 30 when you add them is negative 11 so since the multiplication is positive we are looking for two numbers that are positive or both of them are negative and since when you add them is negative it means that you're looking for two negative numbers two negative numbers in this case is going to be negative 6 and negative 5 because negative 6 times negative 5 is positive 30 negative 5 plus negative 6 is negative 11 so we write 5x squared minus 6x minus 5x plus 6 it doesn't matter the order here you could write minus 5x minus 6x final answer will be the same so you factor here you factor x here that will be 5x minus 6 and here you factor minus because you need to take something like this out in order to factor it so now i need to factor 5x minus 6 that will be x minus 1. next example is 3x squared plus 10x plus 5 plus 8 so the answer will be 3 times 8 is 24 so you're looking for two numbers add to 10 and multiply by 24 so we have 6 and 4 I wanted to say multiply by 3 times 8 will be 24 but you were looking for two numbers multiply to 24 and add to 10 so we have positive 6 and positive 4 6 times 4 is 24 6 plus 4 is 10 so I will write 3x squared plus 6x plus 4x plus 8 and then you factor by grouping 3x x plus 2 x plus 2 then you factor x plus 2 that will be 3x plus 4 next example ten x squared plus 15 x plus 3 answer is 10x squared plus 15x plus 3 you need to multiply 10 and 3 10 times 3 is 30 we're looking for two numbers multiply by 330 and add to 15 so 10 times 3 that doesn't work 15 times 2 doesn't work 6 and 5 doesn't work so that's not gonna factor because you cannot find two numbers multiplied by 30 and add to 15 so you cannot factor it so since you cannot factor it, you need to use quadratic equation which is negative b plus minus b squared minus 4ac divided by 2 so I skip this next example this one is cannot factor Next example is 12x squared plus 17x plus 6. So here, looking for two numbers, multiply by 72 and add to 17. Again, for this example, you cannot find such a thing, so and sin cannot factor. Next example is 4x squared minus 11x plus 6. Answer. You're looking for two numbers, multiply by 4 times 6, 24, add to negative 11. So that will be 
negative 8 and negative 3 when you add them that's going to be negative 11 when you multiply them that's going to give you 24 so then you write it as 4x squared minus 8x minus 3x plus 6 then you factor it factor here 4x x minus 2 and factor here negative 3 x minus 2 again you need to take something like this out here so you have x minus 2 and x minus 2 you factor x minus 2 and here you have 4x minus 3 next example is 6x squared minus 3x plus 1 We're looking for two numbers, multiply by positive 6, adding to negative 3. So we're looking for two numbers, supposed to be negative numbers. And here, we need to add two negative numbers. Why two negative numbers? Because multiplication is positive. So there is no such a thing. So can I say cannot factor? Next example. Six x squared minus seven x plus one. Answer. Looking for two numbers, multiply by positive six and add to negative seven. So you have negative 6 and negative 1. When you multiply it is positive 6. When you add them is negative 7. So we're going to write 6x squared minus 6x minus 1x plus 1. And you factor 6x here. x minus 1. Factor minus since you want to make x minus 1. And then you factor x minus 1. It will be 6x minus 1. Next example, 9x squared minus 24x plus 7. Answer, nine times seven, that's positive 63, minus 24. So you're looking for two negative numbers because when you multiply them is positive. And add to negative 24. So you can have negative 21 and negative 3. So that will be 9x squared minus 21x minus 3x plus 7. So factor 3x in here, that makes it 3x minus 7. And you factor 3x minus 7 here, which will be 3x minus 7 like that. And then you factor 3x minus 7. So then you have 3x minus 1. 3x minus 1. That's the factor form. Next example, you have 15x squared minus 19x plus 6 answer is when you multiply them 15 times 6 90 and when you add them it's going to be negative 19 so as you see here we're looking for two negative numbers because that's positive and this one is negative multiply to 90 and add to negative 19 so it's going to be negative 10 and negative 9 let's make it like that and then you have 15x squared minus 10x minus 9x plus 6 because I wrote negative 19x as negative 10x and negative 9x then you factor here 15x squared minus 10x you factor 5x that will be 3x minus 2 
and here you factor negative 3 that makes it 3x minus 2 then you factor 3x minus 2 that will be 5x minus 3 next example Three x squared plus four x minus seven. Answer three times negative seven, three times negative seven, negative twenty one. Add to positive four. So since the multiplication is negative number, so one of them is positive, one of them is negative, and the one is positive is greater because we have positive here. So that will be positive 7 and negative 3 positive 7 times negative 3 is negative 21 positive 7 minus 3 is positive 4 so it's going to be 3x squared 4x I'll write it as 7x minus 3x minus 7 then you factor it factor x here 3x plus 7 and here you factor minus 3x plus 7 that will make it 3x plus 7 x minus 1 Next example, 2x squared plus 3x minus 9, answer will be, looking for two numbers, multiply that 2 times negative 9 is negative 18, add to positive 3. So two numbers, multiply is going to be negative, so it means that one of them is positive, one of them negative, and since you're adding them, you get positive number. The positive number is bigger than the negative number. So we have positive 5 9 and 2 and 6 and 3, positive 6 and negative 3. So that will make it 2x squared plus 6x minus 3x minus 9 then you factor it by grouping you factor 2x it's going to be x plus 3 you factor negative 3 it's going to be x plus 3 and then you factor x plus 3 that makes it 2x minus 3 next example is 8x squared minus 6x minus 5 answer multiply to 8 times negative 5 is negative 40 looking for add to negative 6 so looking for two negative numbers sorry one positive one negative number because this one is negative and the negative number is bigger by negative 6 so it's going to be negative 10 plus 4 so that makes it 8x squared minus 10x plus 4x minus 5. So then you can group by factoring. Group 2x. It's going to be 4x minus 5. Here you have 4x minus 5. And you factor 4x minus 5. Here you have 2x plus 1. 2x plus 1. You don't write 1 but the coefficient here is 1. Next example, you have 8, actually 12, 12, x squared plus x minus 1. 12 times negative 1, negative 12, positive one b is positive one we look over two numbers multiply it by negative 12 add two positive one one positive one negative and the positive one is greater so it's going to be positive four and negative three so that will be 12 x squared plus 4x minus 3x minus one and you factor it by grouping 4x 3x plus one you factor negative one 3x plus one so that will be 3x plus 1, and here you have 4x minus 1. 
Next example. We have nine x squared minus fifteen x minus four. Answer is multiply by nine times negative four, negative thirty six. Add to negative fifteen. Two numbers multiply is going to be negative thirty six. When you add it, it's negative fifteen. So we have negative twelve. Positive. No, that's not going to make it. What about 18 and 2? 18 and 2 is not going to make it as well. 12 and 3. That also doesn't work. Because one of them is positive, one of them negative. Six and six also doesn't work. Nine and four doesn't work as well. So this example cannot be factor. Let's do next example. We have five x squared minus fourteen x minus three. Answer. So the previous one cannot factor. Here, looking for multiply to five times negative three, negative fifteen. Add to negative fourteen. So multiply by negative fifteen and. So it's going to be negative 15 and positive 1. Negative 15 and positive 1. So it's going to be 5x squared minus 15x plus x minus 14. So factor, sorry, minus, minus 3. Because that's 1 here. Minus 3, negative 14, that's great. So you factor it by grouping. That will be 5x, x minus 3, x minus 3. That's going to be x minus 3 and... 5x plus 1. Next example is 8x squared minus 16x plus 6. Answer is looking for two numbers. Multiply by 8 times 6 is 48. Add to negative 16. So you have 12 and 4, negative 12 and negative 4. Multiply is going to be positive 48. And when you add them is negative 16. So it's going to be 8x squared minus 12x minus 4x plus 6. Factor this and you factor this. Factor 4 here. It's going to be 4x, 2x minus 3. And you factor negative 2. That would be 2x minus 3. So that will be 2x minus 3, and here you have 4x minus 2. Next example. We have 9x squared plus 15x minus 6. Answer is 9 times negative 6, negative 54. Add to 15. So two numbers, one positive, one negative, and the positive number is greater. So negative 54. We have 9 and 6, but doesn't work here because we have two different signs. Eighteen and three is gonna work. So we have positive eighteen, negative three. Positive eighteen times negative three, negative fifty-four. Positive eighteen minus three is gonna be positive fifteen. So we have nine x squared plus eighteen x minus three x minus six. Then you factor it by grouping. Factor nine x, x plus two, and here you factor negative three, x plus two. That will be x plus two. And here you have 9x minus 3. You can also factor 3 here and write it out. It's going to be 3x minus 1. Next example. You have 6x squared minus 14x minus 12. First thing you can do. 
you could also do it with the previous example and also for the previous one you need to do you can do common denominator as well common factor first so here your fact common factor 2 is going to be 3x squared minus 7x minus 6 and then you factor this part 3 times negative 6 that will be negative 18 and add to negative 7 so we have negative 9 positive 2 makes it negative 18 and negative 7 so it's going to be 2 3x squared minus 9x plus 2x minus 6 so then you factor 3x x minus 3 2 x minus 3 then you make it x minus 3 times 3x plus 2 and then you factor it it will be 2 you factor that already times x minus 3 3x plus 2 that's the final answer Next example, we have 10x squared plus 15x minus 10. First thing we can do, we can check for the common factor. All of them are multiples of 5. So I factor 5 here, it's going to be 2x squared plus 3x minus 2, and then you factor it here too. Looking for two numbers, multiply by negative 4 and add to positive 3. So that will be positive 4 and negative 1. So it's going to be 2x squared plus 4x minus x minus 2. 2x plus 2 x plus 2 so it's going to make it actually here factor 2x it's going to be x plus 2 2x minus 1 and you factor 2 as well you factor 5 as well so 5 times x plus 2 2x minus 1 is the final answer next example we have 10 x squared minus 22x plus 4 answer is you factor 2 it's going to be 5x squared minus 11x plus 2 and here you need to factor this expression 5 times 2 10 add to negative 11 that will be negative 10 and negative 1 makes it 5x squared minus 10x minus x plus 2 So that makes it 5x, x minus 2, x minus 2. We have 2 times 5x minus 1, x minus 2 is going to be the final answer. Next example. Ten x squared minus 22x plus 4. We actually had this example. Let me write another example. 8x squared minus 22x plus 12. You can factor 2 here. That's going to be 4x squared minus 11x plus 6. Multiply by 2 number. Multiply by 24. 6 times 4, 24. And add to negative 11. So we have negative 8 and negative 3. So we have 4x squared minus 8x minus 3x plus 6. Factor 4x, x minus 2, minus 3, x minus 2. So that makes it x minus 2 times 4x minus 3. And you already factor 2 as well. So 2 times x minus 2 times 4x minus 3. Next example. 4x squared plus 12x plus 5 answer is looking for two numbers multiply by 4 times 5 positive 20 add to 12 so 10 times 2 20 10 plus 2 is 12 so you have 4x squared plus 10x 
plus 2x plus 5. Then you factor it by grouping. You factor 2x here. It's going to be 2x plus 5. 2x plus 5. And then you factor 2x plus 5. Will be 2x plus 1. Next example. We have 7x squared minus 23x plus 6. Answer is multiply by 7 times 6, 42. Add to negative 23. So we have negative 21 and negative 2. Negative 21 times negative 2 is positive 42. Negative 21 plus negative 2 is negative 23. That will be 7x squared minus 21x minus 2x plus 6. Factor by grouping. Factor 7x, x minus 3. Factor negative 2, x minus 3. Then you have 7x minus 2 times x minus 3. Next example. We have 15x squared minus 2x minus 8. 15 times negative 8, that will make it negative 120. And add to negative 2. That will be negative 12 and positive 10. Negative 12 and positive 10. That will make it even, it will make it answer 15x squared minus 12x plus 10x minus 8 factor by grouping you have 3x 5x minus 4 and here you factor 2 it's going to be 5x minus 4 then that will be 5x minus 4 here you have 3x plus 2 Next example, you have 8x squared plus 14x minus 4. Answer will be Two numbers multiply by 8 times negative 4 is negative 32 and add to 14 that will be positive 16 minus 2 that will be 8x squared plus 16x minus 2x minus 4 in fact of 8x x plus 2 negative 2 x plus 2 then you factor x plus 2 that will makes it x minus x 8x minus 2 and you can also factor in 2 as well so if when you factor 2 that will make it 4x minus 1 next example you have 6x squared minus 19x plus 15 answer is 6 times 15 is positive 90 and add to negative 19. So we have negative 15 and negative 4. That will make it 90. And when you add them is negative 19. So we have 4x squared minus 15x minus 4x plus 15. So you factor 3x. It's going to be 2x minus 5 negative 2, 2x minus 5. Then you make it 2x minus 5, 3x minus 2. Next example, you have 5x squared plus 18x plus 9. Answer will be 5 times 9, 45. When you add them is 18. So 15 and 3 
then you multiply is 45 when you add them is 80 so we have 5x squared plus 15x plus 3x plus 9 so that will be 5x x plus 3 and here you factor 3 x plus 3 so it's going to be x plus 3 times 5x plus 3 This is the final answer. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like this video if you found it useful. And you can also subscribe this channel to have access to different videos regarding topics in math and chemistry. Please leave me a comment if you have any question and I get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you for watching and have a great day.